All right, so I'm back in the car. I'm gonna talk to you guys in here with the door shut and stuff because the radio is really loud out there with the music. So, and you guys can probably hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So I went ahead to change the title of my last two uploads, which was me removing the whole interior and gutting it, or semi-gutting it, and then me doing the headliner. I actually want to show you guys how cheap and inexpensive it could be to just redo your whole interior. That's not including seats and stuff. You guys can choose what kind of seats you want to buy, whether it's um, eBay or fake brides or fake Recaros or whatever it is that you want to buy. I'm going to buy real ones, but you guys can go ahead and buy whatever. So in the beginning of each video, I'm going to start posting how much I spent that day on doing what i'm doing now it might be a little more or less for everybody because i already have some of these supplies already so in the first video i didn't spend any money it just took a couple hours to gut the back end of the car which you guys can see behind me so all you need is time and a little bit of effort on that first one now in my headliner video that i posted previous to this one i spent 24 dollars. it might be a little more for you guys if you don't have wax and grease remover or just something to clean all your interior pieces and then tape if you didn't have tape to tape off whatever you didn't want to get painted so let's just say $24 for the paint three to five dollars for a wax and grease remover or whatever product you end up using and then two dollars for tape just uh just some masking tape or whatever you guys have around the house so i'm gonna post the total down below and that's where we're at right now so today i'm gonna go ahead and remove everything else that's in the way of me painting this thing i'm gonna go ahead and paint the whole inside guys and that's just my decision guys a lot of guys just end up painting you know right up to this rug line right here and uh that's good enough i mean honestly if you're gonna keep your seats in your front rug that's good enough. Uh, I really honestly don't know what my future plans are for this car. So I'm going to paint the whole thing. And if I ever decide to remove my rug and just have it like that for a while, I can do that. You know, so I'm going to go ahead and start removing everything. All the belt buckles, uh, probably these panels also on the, on the doors. Cause I don't want them to get painted. They're not, those are in the way, but I don't want them to get painted. So I'm going to remove them. The seats I'm going to remove the floor rugs, the mats. Uh, I think I got to remove. I know I gotta remove all this. I don't remember if I have to remove the shift box or anything like that. So we'll find out when we get there. So yeah, I'm gonna remove as much as I can and not make too much work for myself. Anything I can tape off, I'm gonna tape off. And then everything else I'm gonna cover and make sure no paint gets on it. And yeah, just use common sense guys. Just cover whatever you don't want painted, especially the hatch area your glass so a lot of this information is already out there so i'm not gonna get too crazy showing you guys everything if i see anything difficult i'll point it out and show you guys how to remove it for but for the most part there's forums there's videos there's all that information is already out there so just do a little bit of research usually it's just one or two bolts that holds it in or a couple clips so honda does a very good job making it easy for everyone just to remove panels and do all that so we got quite a few hours of work here so let's go ahead and get started on this all right guys doing it guys i mean there's too much i think i changed my mind so as i start looking at the car and i start looking around at everything i gotta remove for this to actually come out really good and like i gotta remove most of the wiring i mean this big wire coming down the middle Let's see if i can show you guys this one here i gotta take this shifter box out push that all that way um just for this to come out really good I'm saying because I'm I'm super picky so I probably have to remove this whole e-brake system here and the way the and the way the rug removes it kind of it's kind of connected so this side and this side it's all one piece which I would probably cut it anyways right here and I'd probably cut it down the middle over here and just take it out like that but it's just a lot of work and I don't think I'm ever gonna take out the front end of the rug so I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and do all that it's just too much work so my apologies on that guys but i'm not gonna do all that i think that's too much for what my car is so i'm gonna show you guys what my new plan is now i took i took about 20 minutes to think about this and this is my new plan i'm just gonna remove i'm gonna remove this brace that goes across here i'm gonna paint right up to maybe behind there because you can't really see so i'm gonna mask i'm gonna take this off and i'm gonna do my tape line where I'm not gonna paint anymore I'm gonna do it right up to there right behind this 
so that in the future if I ever do want to decide to paint the front end of the car I could still do that and you won't see a line where I started and finished you know so you won't see that like I don't know if you guys ever seen like a paint job or something where you could see where someone started like you can see their tape line so if I just hide it behind here it'll be fine if I ever decide to to remove all this but just from the looks of it guys like all this wiring and like everything in the way I I, I just feel like it's too much like it's just too much for what I have here and what my goals are so so this decision isn't too bad anyways like for one we're saving time a lot of time and then we're saving a lot of money on paint but what you're gonna save on the most is time guys and prep work and removing all these seats and doing all that I feel like that's just too much work now if you're building a car from the ground up and you already have this stuff removed and you don't have any of this in the car then yeah that's a good choice or if you bought a shell and none of this is inside then perfect you might as well go ahead and paint it but if you have your car already put together and to take this all out to do all that that's a lot of work that's like a lot of dedication so like i said if you do change your mind you're gonna have that brace right there and if you ever decide to go ahead and paint the front end of the car because you don't want the rug anymore you could go ahead and do that and you know it's not a lot of work all at once you know you kind of split it in two and maybe do this this year and then go ahead and do the other half next year so maybe so maybe next year we'll go ahead and remove the front end of the car and just do that half and i think that'll be a lot better i mean it's a lot less work on one shot i guess we could start relocating these wires and actually hide them inside take these speakers out take this plastic stuff off um i could even start re-looming stuff we could still remove this back buckle system here and then this side and i am gonna put this trim piece here back i'm not sure about this piece yet like i just i don't know what pieces i'm putting back guys so so i'm just gonna paint everything in there and do it as best as i can like i said before just to make sure i'm covered for the future you know i don't know what my plans are maybe three four years down the line and then you know i painted this down here but i didn't paint that in there and then i'm like what the heck so i'm just gonna go ahead and paint everything let's go ahead and get started on this all right so my apologies guys i know you i know some of you were looking forward to it you know me doing this whole interior and doing everything but at the end of the day i'm gonna do what's best for me and what's best is not doing the front end right now maybe leaving that for further down the line once i have some extra time i can go ahead and do all that so so let's go ahead and get started again so i removed that plastic i started removing it and i just pretty much i just unplugged everything so i unplugged these i unplugged this one and my, my plan is to re-loom this here real nice with that nice loom i bought i'll show you guys what i bought and uh what i used so it's a, a loom here i'm gonna loom that i'm gonna loom this area right here and then i'm just gonna hide it in here uh my plan right now is to unbolt this here i think this is these are your grounds right here so i'm just gonna unbolt this and i think i'm gonna bring it inside of this and i think i'm gonna bolt it on the inside so you don't see this showing on this side anymore anyways there's a hole right here where there's wires coming in through i'm gonna try and route this back in there i'm gonna try and bolt it from the inside in the same spot so i'm gonna give that a go and see if it works
All right, so I went ahead and had a, I had routed this inside and I went ahead and took it back out. Um, that's not gonna work. So my new plan, my new plan for this ground bracket thing here, I'm gonna place it probably right here. I'm gonna use this hole right here. So right on the inside, I'm just bolt it right there. I'm gonna sand this real quick, sand the inside part and just put it here. So yeah, on so on that spot right there, I just have a couple washers, this here, and a nut. And I probably should use a lock washer so it wouldn't loosen up, you know, throughout the time. So I might actually go back and do that. Um, one thing that I do, one thing I want to do though, I want to end up getting some 10 millimeter bolts like this with the uh, with a nut for it, because I don't know, I just prefer that look. And that's just me being picky. I prefer that over this Phillips head thing here over this style. I don't know. It just looks to me. It looks better. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just use what I have for now. And then later on, I'll just swap it out or whatever. All right, let's just get started. I always end up talking way too much in these videos instead of just doing what I got to do. And you guys are probably wondering like, why is he, you know, doing all that? Well, I just want to hide all these wires all these ones that you see on the side i'm just gonna run them inside the quarter panels it's just gonna be the cleanest look i could think of so for me to achieve that clean look that i want that's the route i'm gonna take so that's just me that's my preference you guys can leave it all on the outside once again i'm making these videos to show everybody a clean way to pretty much do everything on your car i'm gonna go ahead and bolt that on the inside all these wires on the outside i'm just gonna unclip them and then run it on the inside of the quarter panel and we should be good on this side I'll just copy the same. I'll just do the same exact thing on this side. Remove the plastic. Um, if there is another bracket for a ground, I'll do that on the inside. And then we should be good on the exposed wires. And for the factory Bose amp uh, subs or whatever that thing is in the back, I'm not going to use that anymore. So this wire, I'm just going to tie it off and just leave it in there. Um, these I'm going to run inside the quarter panel and pretty much just copy the same I'm gonna do on this side. So let's go ahead and get started on that. I'm gonna have to de-loom this wire right here a little bit just to see see what's see how far I could pull this wire all right I'm gonna take this back together because I got I got a little more slack on there so let's take this back actually I'll leave these out so we'll do something like that um all right so i tried a couple different options try using existing holes right there i tried using another one over here it just didn't work so what i'm gonna end up doing is what i did right here all right so i'm gonna end up doing that right here in this spot i don't know if you guys can see that very well but right where the wire comes out through here i'm just gonna bolt it right here this ground right here that single ground I'm gonna end up bolting it right there. So I ended up bolting it from the inside like that and just bolt it right there. So that'll take care of that. I'll plug these where they're supposed to go and then we'll just keep on going. So I redid this one. I went and found a bolt and a nut on the other side, 10 millimeter, and I made a small hole right there for that little notch on that uh, ground thing. I don't know, whatever that's called. And then, so for my other ground that I was gonna put right here, I ended up moving it over here 
because I could actually reach it with my fingers. So I sanded that pretty good. Also sanded it on the inside. And I also made a small hole right here so that so that the ground doesn't like twist around or you know just fall out of there. So I did a bolt uh, lock washer on the other side with a nut. So you definitely want to add a lock washer onto this so it doesn't loosen up with time. So that took a little longer than I wanted it to, but um, it's all done now. So now I can just get started on that wiring over there and just work my way around. I just unplugged this right here. If anybody knows what the heck this is, I don't feel like looking it up. So if you know what that is right there, I don't know, I'm thinking it's like some wheel sensor or something. I don't know. So I'm gonna undo that. See if, I don't have to break this tag. Undo that. Undo this one. I can't even reach. So I'm going to actually break it right there. Take that out. So I'm going to put that split loom, the nice one. I'm going to show you the one I'm talking about in a sec, but. I'm just going to loom it from there, maybe to right here, where you're able to see it. Maybe I'll just do something like that. This is the loom that I use. I've showed you guys before in my other videos when I did my headlights and also I think uh, when I did my headlights and I think I did some stuff like in the fenders and stuff. But anyways, this is... Um, I forgot the name of it. I'll post it down below, but it's a split loom and it's not like the other split loom. This one, the plastic one, you know, people use for like computers and whatever. This one's like more of like that. I don't know if you've ever seen BMW cars, like the engine bay, they kind of use this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And then for the tail lights on the backside, we're going to reloom all that over there. That's one of the areas we won't be able to tuck away like inside a fender or anything like that. So we're going to do the best we can just relooming it and making it look the best we can. So I'm going to use this cheap loom, the plastic stuff. This is the stuff you can get at Harbor Freight for like a couple dollars and stuff. I'm going to use this in the fenders and stuff inside where you can't see them. This side's already turning out really good. No wires at all. So. Yeah, let's just uh, keep going here. All right, so I went ahead and I finished that over there. It's kind of have a habit for now until um, I could get some more zip ties and double-sided, like this double-sided tape. I'll probably tuck it up like that. All right, so now we just got to reloom this here. Uh, probably just re reloom it up to right here with the nice loom, this one right here. So let's go ahead and do that and then connect all these wires and then hide them as best as we can behind here. I still gotta get that double-sided like sticky tape thing. I'll have to show you guys. It's at Home Depot and I'll see you after I leave here if I go there and, and buy that so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and reloom that and then uh, we should be pretty good on this side. Oh man, we just gotta do the back and then the same on this side. So we still got a lot of work. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it all today. I'll probably have to continue this tomorrow, but I'll put this on one video and then, um, yeah. So this is all done, loomed it up pretty nice. I'm not gonna connect these wires together because, you know, I gotta paint all this. I don't want it to cover all this right here. So yeah, let's just leave it right there where it is. This side's all done. No wires are showing, except for right there towards the end, which I still have to finish. I'll tuck that in there pretty nice when I'm done. So same thing on this side, 
Except I don't think we have any grounds we have to deal with on this side. Oh, we have one here. So we're gonna have to find a spot for that inside. And yeah, that's about it I think for grounds. So I went ahead and took this harness apart a little bit. Um, the one for your amp, or the one for the uh, Bose uh, subwoofer that goes in the back, which is this one here. I pulled it all the way back to where it splits off right here. And then this little wire right here, which goes in here in this hole right here, it goes in here. I pulled that all the way back so quite about the same point and then this one here is your grounding I went ahead and made a hole for that right here so I'm just gonna ground it on the inside just like I did on the other side and then this one here this is gonna be the only wire that's gonna come out of here out of this area and I'm just gonna run it down the bottom like this on this side um, all I gotta do is order a little bit of more loom I need a smaller loom for this I'll post it down below in the description exactly what I use for the bow subwoofer thing I'm just going to coil this up and kind of just tuck it away in there uh, and that's it that's gonna be the only wire that's gonna run on this side that you're gonna be able to see and then on this side the only wire you're gonna see is for this shit right here which I haven't even looked at what, what this stuff is yet and I also went ahead and undid the harness that's in the back now this harness is really easy to remove guys uh it's right let me show you guys now i'm also going to reloom this uh because they kind of just did like i don't know i think they did like a front wrap and then they just came back and like back wrapped it so it's not sticky on one side but anyways i'm going to reloom this as well but pretty much you just un you just unclip it from all your lights on that side unclip it from that side undo your ground there's only one ground and that's about it you just unclip it all uh the harness the whole harness is right here in my hand it's really simple to remove and again guys this is just me going that extra mile um you guys can leave everything there and just paint right over it i don't suggest you do that because you're gonna have paint lines and it's just not gonna look good but if you're leaving all your panels on both sides all the back ones and all you're gonna do is paint the floor just leave the wires right where they are just paint right over the wires you're gonna save yourself a bunch of time by doing that so um just plan out what you're gonna do figure out what your end result like what you want your end result to be like do you want your panels on do you want everything to be painted just figure out exactly what that look is that you're aiming for you know what i'm saying so yeah i got this side done driver side's done passenger side's done all the wire in the back is done I still don't know what I'm gonna do with this here for your gas uh, covered thingy over there so I don't know maybe I could run it inside the uh, fender I'm um, not quite sure yet what I'm gonna do with that but for now I'm just gonna leave it there I actually unhook it over there I might just do that and just leave it over here with this other stuff so uh, let's go ahead and remove this here so it's just one two three four probably five six seven eight bolts that hold this uh brace that's inside i'm gonna definitely remove this here for the back seat and as well as this for now because i want to get behind there and paint really good and then i'll put these i'll put these back all right so i'm gonna go ahead and clean some of this mess up organize put everything in ziplocs this i gotta reloom well not necessarily reloom it i'm just gonna throw some split loom that loom i showed you right over that which I have right here, I have a bunch of it. So.
everything's pretty much done. Got all the wires off. Just gotta get finished getting all these clips off everywhere that I left them. There's one there, a couple over there, but uh, yeah, things pretty much good now. Next thing to do is remove this wire. So I got that open. And all you gotta do is grab it right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you kind of reach, you turn it. And then on this side, on this side, you're gonna see it where you could just turn it and then just pull it through. So it's right here. And just leave it right there so it's not in the way when I'm painting. So all our wires are right here that we're gonna use. And all I gotta do is get this glue off, which I'm not gonna do on camera. I'll just work on that in my own time. So I think we did pretty good this past couple of days. I wanna say in total, it probably took me like eight hours to do all this in two days. So that's not too bad. And like I said, I gotta reloom a couple wires, which I'm gonna take home. And as far as this middle brace thing over here, these brackets, and I might actually remove these right here that hold your struts. Um, I might send them out to get chromed out. Um, my girl's dad actually works in a chroming facility or something. So I'm gonna ask him and see if he could just dip them for me. Um, I think he'll be able to do it. I, I think he's done parts before for himself and I think other people. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask him. I mean, it'll just be cheap. So it's one less thing I gotta spend money on. So yeah, everything's pretty much ready. Uh, next thing we gotta do is figure out where I can buy some of that dry ice so that we can remove all this stuff over here, this sound stuff. Um, I'm gonna call around and see where I could find some. Maybe there's some closer over here than me trying to buy it back at home and, and then drive over here and use it. So let's see what I can find. So far, we haven't really bought anything. It's all just been time that we had to take out to do all this. So as you can see, it's not a lot of money. It's just a lot of time you gotta invest when you're doing this stuff. So um, good thing it's your hatch and the end of your car so if you guys do have to daily this thing you could still do this process and still get it done so and i think that's the best part of doing your interior is that you could take your time and you don't have to rush because you could still drive your car to work you know